Dwarf Iron Breakers coming up on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, today we have some Dwarf Iron Breakers from the Games Workshop and these are older models out of my own collection. They still have the square bases in them, but we are getting ready for a Games Workshop tournament coming up on August the 18th, Saturday at 10 a.m. And I hope to see you there. But in the meantime, now that the General's Handbook has come out, I've decided to enlarge my Dwarf Army by adding in some Dwarf Ironbreakers. But before I actually build any of these, which would be another video if I decide to make that, I am going to open up the box and show you what's in the box. And now we go down to the deep mountains where we meet our dwarf iron breakers. Also, iron drakes. This is one of those two part boxes from Games Workshop that gives you options to build both the iron breakers and the iron drakes. And in case you're wondering what iron drakes look like, here they are, here are the artifacts with their big guns and everything ready to blast away at the enemy. Okay, so let us open this box of mine, just uh, like this. And first thing, we will start with the wonderful instruction sheet. Now, keep in mind that this was made when 8th edition was around, so they don't have the War Scrolls from Age of Sigmar in this kit. They just have the old stat line. So, at any rate, they give you two building instructions. At first, it shows you how to put the bodies together and the universal parts for all variants of these models. You can see it's still on square base, so this is quite an older set. It shows you all the arms and the shoulder pads you can use. And mix and match shoulder pads and arms. And now this, the way they're going here is for the iron breakers. So, of course, they show the shield and the axe and the different faces. The Iron Breakers have these rounded helmets, as you can see. And there's your musician. And, of course, how to build a standard bearer. And the champion would be somewhere there. Yeah, this looks like the champion. And then when you get into the Iron Drakes, it has these alternate shoulder pads with the little W upside down M. I think it's supposed to be a dragon actually. Or a drake. <laughs> yeah, it's a drake, Trev. Okay, there's the torpedo launcher and the special drake fire guns. And the drakes have the almost nail head type helmet or the bucket head. I guess it's not really a nail head. Well, anyway. <laughs> and they have this nice Drake banner with the two Drakes hanging around the shield. And assembly is quite easy. I've actually built some of these in the past. So I can actually field, in Age of Sigmar, the maximum for these guys in a unit is 30. And I just happen to have enough of these guys to make a unit of 30. So now let's look at the plastic. And as you can see, there's some pretty nice detailing. They even have numbers up top here so that you can see which guy is what. And of course, there's a shield for their champion. And there's the iron, <laughs> iron breaker helmets, the round ones. And there's an iron drake guy right there. So that's the first sprue. And this is a so the duplicate. Yes, because there's a torpedo there. And the drummer. And then we get this sprue, which of course has the shields on it. And there's some really nice uh, glyphs and icons in the shields as well as shoulder pads. The detail on these guys is incredible. Very, very well detailed. If you like building the dwarfs, they make a great addition to your army. Or if you're one of these 
Games Workshop collectors that just loves to paint stuff. These guys are awesome for paint. And of course, this is a duplicate. So basically you're getting one of these and one of these smaller ones twice to make up a unit of 10 guys. But look at that, that's the icon for the standard there. see the nice detailing on that and they have hammers and there is the Drake um, horn for giving your troops the extra four inches of movement when they charge or run and of course we got square bases which you can actually buy a bag of six dollar replacement bases from Games Workshop itself so look for those if you can. And that will bring us to a conclusion of our review of the Dwarf Iron Breakers and Iron Drakes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to look at these Dwarf Iron Breakers from the Games Workshop. And if you like these videos and would like to make a little contribution to my efforts, Please go and look on our YouTube homepage and look for that little Facebook icon, the PayPal one, and click on it and you can do the rest. And if you would like to see some of my other unboxing videos for Games Workshop, please check them out here, here, and here. And if you like us and want to subscribe and click the notification bell, get our latest things, but subscribe to us right here. And until next time, happy building.